Okay, so what I'm working on today is this 300Z, 350Z. Uh, it's got a misfire. Uh, this one might be a little tough. I'm going to just call for two straps. Throw the strap on real quick. Okay, so we got a random multiple engine misfire. I thought it was going to be uh, a coil pack when I put the scanner on it, but the scanner doesn't say anything. It just says random. Uh, no other codes. There's a bumblebee in my soda, goddammit. Good thing I didn't drink him. Okay, let me get another one of those. Um, so I already checked the mass airflow sensor. Uh, that thing's clean, no dirt or debris in that. That happened to me one time before. It's not there. Just looking at the motor, uh, used to my VG30. This thing's a little bit newer. I thought these might be cam sensors, then I realized no, that has to be like some kind of like Nissan VTEC variable timing type deal. VVTI, VTIS, something. Uh, looking at the back of the motor, I seen that there's looks to be a cam sensor and it looks to be really oily uh kind of like one of those girls you'd see on bisonet late at night oh uh, so i'm gonna take it out and clean it and see what happens if we can put it back in there if it starts working maybe the connector is grimy too inside and it's not making a good contact um yeah usually on cars with coil packs if it says uh random misfire and it doesn't uh tell you specifically which cylinder it is it's like a cam sensor, crank angle sensor, camshaft sensor, um, something like that. Sometimes it can be uh, actually internal damage, bent valve or something like that. But I was just driving this thing, going home late at night, and all of a sudden it started misfiring. Wasn't dogging on it or anything, but I do. Uh, be friendly with it on um, you know calls for it and stuff so I'm hoping if I thought it's nasty I don't know if I can spray this the right way oh. yeah so I'm looking at the green connector um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just winging it. Never changed one of these. Never checked one of these. Um, uh, looking through the camera viewfinder. Oh, I'm way too low. That's what she said. It'd probably be easier if you move the harness. It's on a clip. But you know, let's see if we can do it without. Push it from the bottom. Okay. Oh, it's not too bad. The connector itself looks a little grimy. Oh, everybody's a little grimy sometimes. I'm hoping this is the problem because I don't want to do anymore. Okay, let me put this and pry that back. Yeah, when you have coil packs, usually it tells you which coil is going to be bad. And then it uh, will help you diagnose it a little bit easier that way. But, this can be anything. This could be that the spark plugs themselves actually fell out. That I have one bad coil pack. And it's causing all of them to show misfire. And it's just a bad self-diagnostic system on this thing. Okay, so that's how that comes out. You put a, a flat head right in there. And then it'll separate. And once it separates, you can pull it up. Okay, so now the harness is a little bit more free play. 
And don't forget to put that back, because everybody always does. And yeah, make sure it's got the right socket. Looks like it's a 10. This video is for all the incapable who want to be capable. Just try it. Mess it up, take it to the shop. It's all good. Okay, so I'm trying to get the socket onto the bolt. And then once we do that, we'll be able to spin her off. Let me ratchet the right direction before you put it down there. Probably be good to have a magnet. I don't have one because I'm not looking for it. So the best place to put your bulk and stuff is like on your windshield. Try not to have a bunch of leaves on there. <laughs> but don't be an asshole and put it on the glass itself. You can break it. Um, so it looks like it should pop out now. It's all loosey goosey. I have to put the flathead behind it or something. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's tight. Super hard to come out. Don't be a pliers would be good for this. Seems like the hardest part is getting this damn thing out. So I got the looks like cam angle sensor out. It's oily. 
but it's not uh, oily inside of it. I'm gonna clean it up and put it back in and see if it makes any difference, clean the connector, and we'll go from there. Okay, I'll put that uh, camshaft sensor back in there. Uh, I'll clean the mass airflow one more time with the brake cleaner. Probably shouldn't do that. Oh, started it back up. Seems like the misfire is gone. It's been running a few minutes. It was missing pretty bad before. It sounded like one of those cars with a baffle tune, but it was slow as shit. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna give it a little rev for you guys, but it looks like that solved it. It was just an oily uh, cam shaft position sensor. The connector was a little dirty. Uh, after I got it cleaned up, just to take care of it. Uh, it probably won't last long. I probably gotta go ahead and change that camp staff sensor out, but at least I can uh, play around for the weekend like I wanted to. Mm. Let's see how long it lasts though.